I'm going to go over how to do half-life conversions now for the APES Mathematics Review, numbers 32 through 34. So number two set, 32 says, with a half-life of 28.8 years, how long will it take one gram of strontium-90 to decay to 125 milligrams? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out how many times it takes to go down by half. So one gram is equal to a thousand milligrams. And let's go ahead and have it. So um, a half of that is, is 500 milligrams. And then let's go down again by half to 250 milligrams. And then let's go down again by half to 125. All right, well, that's great because that's what it asks for. It says, how long does it take to go to 125? And we have here 125. So how we count it is how many half-lives. We do not go one, two, three, four. That's wrong. We want to go, uh, we want to count the transitions. So this is one half-life, so it, um, and then from 500 to 250 is another half-life, and then it's going to half again. So basically halved three times. And so the problem told us that the half-life was 28.8 years, and so we want to multiply that by three. We're going to do our long division problem here. So <clears throat> our answer here is 86.4 years for number one. All right. Well, that was actually number 32. So let's go on to 33. A 64-gram sample of germanium-66 is left undisturbed for 12.5 hours. At the end of that period, only two grams remain. What's the half-life of this material? So first, let's go ahead and count how many half-lives it took to go from 64 to 2. So 64, a half of that is 32, and half of that is 16, and half of that is 8, half of that is 4, and half of 4 is 2. So let's count our half-lives. One, two, three, four, so five half-lives. Okay, so it told us, though, the total amount of time was 12.5 hours. So it said it went from um, 64 to 2 in um, 12.5 hours. So now we need to take 12.5 and divide it by five half-lives to find out our half-life. So I'm going to take 12.5 divided by five times it went down by half. And I'll do my long division here and I get 2.5. So this is not years. The answer says hours. So my, or the problem says hours. So I need to make sure my answer is in hours, 2.5 hours. And number 34. A 0.5 gram sample of radioactive iodine-131 has a half-life of 8 days. After 40 days, how much is left? All right, well, hmm. So it says it has a half-life of eight days, and we want to know what happens after 40 days. So how many half-lives is that? So I can take 40 divided by eight, and that gives me five half-lives. So it's going to go down, um, or it's going to go by half five times. So this one's a little bit trickier because you've got to go, uh, you've got to use your decimals. So five, half of five, is 0.25. Okay, that one's kind of easy. And half of 2.5 is 0.125. Now, you may have been able to do that in your brain, but perhaps you don't know how to do half of this, so you might need to go off to the side and kind of 
you know, 0.125 divided by 2. And when you do that, you'd get 0 0.0625. And then if you can do this in your brain, that's okay. If not, just again off to the side. You want to divide that by 2. And you're going to get 0 0.03125. Okay, let me count how many half-lives that is. That's 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, I've got to do one more. So now I've got to do half of 0 0.03125, and that comes out to be 0 0.0156. And so now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 half-lives. So it says how much is left? Oh, well, actually, this is my answer, but what's my unit? You guys have to make sure you have your units. So we started out with grams. So this is grams all the way down. So my answer is 0 0.0156 grams. Now on an FRQ, you can just leave it as grams, but what if this is a multiple choice question and the answers are only in milligrams? And so if we were to change this to milligrams, we move it over three places and that would be one or 15.6 milligrams. Um, again, on an FRQ, they would accept both ways to write the answer, but on a multiple choice, they might not have this one, and so you would be need to be able to recognize that grams goes to milligrams. And that's it for Half-Life.